morning. We are out here at Eldowed's Farm. Another beautiful day out here. Just working to beat the rain before it comes in this afternoon. We have received an oak tree that we're going to go ahead and plant. We actually received two of them. We're going to address the first one here. It is a little seedling and we are putting that in the ground here right by our fence. So we thought it's a good opportunity to show planting out as well as I know in a previous video I mentioned about us recording showing a couple different ways to actually dig a hole. Of course there is the classic shovel. Not happening today because uh, we're just making a small hole. This will do just right. This is actually what this is designed for. If you've never seen one, it's called a post hole digger. That's a common name for it. Noah, you want to go ahead and demonstrate it? This is, uh, this is designed specifically for usually digging holes for posts or other things where you just need a small hole and maybe to go deep, maybe not, but just something that you don't need very wide. Go ahead, Noah. Where? Right here? Show. Yep. That, that's where we're going to put it. Twist it, too. Yep. Now, what Noah is also demonstrating is that this is some very hard ground. So, don't worry, we're not going to spend hours trying to dig, break this ground up. This post hole digger could do it. I'm going to show real quick. You just kind of slam it in, grab it up, and pull it off to the side. We did want to demo that anybody, you know, young or old, that's one thing this is designed for. It makes it a little easier than using a shovel. But yeah, you just kind of go and work in a circle, digging it out like this. But yes, this ground is hard, and this would take a long time to do it. It would work, but we have an easier way. You may or may not have seen before what's called an auger. You can find some actually mounted on heavy-duty machinery for big and digging big holes, like for wells and construction and some smaller ones that are handheld where it can be one or two people just holding it on a machine above the ground. But for a really small hole like this where you just need to get in some hard ground, they make these smaller ones that will attach right to a cordless drill. Yes, we do need the battery for it. Thank you. So here we are down at the hole. We've got the auger in the drill. Noah's going to demonstrate how this works. All right, Noah, go ahead. Let it up, let it up. Now have it going and then push it down. Okay, this is not working. It's hammering. Wait, didn't he say to put it all the way up? Yes, anyone? but I'm going to show them so they can see. Okay. This is a hammer drill here, and what's happened is it's just not putting out enough power. And whether it's a hammer drill or another drill, you just may need to adjust the strength of what it's pushing out, pushing down. Okay, go ahead and try that, Noah. There we go. Okay, let's turn it up a little bit. There we go. Push down harder. Going. Okay. okay. Let up. All right. Pull it out. So that's really dug down in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then you can off. use this or something else to go ahead and just get all that dirt that it's loosened up out of the way. All right. Go ahead. Make sure it's straight. All right, let's check it. General principle, as I understand from when you're planting, is that you should always have something, the hole should be about twice the size of the root ball. 
no need to measure, but just roughly twice the size, so we've got it about right there. Now we go ahead and unwrap this. You, ideally, you can even loosen some of this up a bit. It's not absolutely necessary, but it is, it is better, and that's actually, this was actually root bound in here, so it's going to be tough to kind of get a lot out. Again, ideally, you do want to always loosen it up, but better to leave it some than break the roots. At least leave it attached. It's loosened a little bit. It will eventually grow out and send out shoots to the surrounding soil. Now what we've got to add to the soil, because of course you always want to add a little bit to give them a good nutritional start, is some good fresh contributions from our donkey. Generally it's best to break it down a little bit. This manure it's not brand new. It has been sitting out for a little while, so it's fresh but not too fresh. But what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the bottom to uh, be able to have some good nutrients for the roots to reach down to. We're going to put a thin layer of soil on between that and the root balls so that it's not going to hit it immediately when it goes in there. So Noah, go ahead and put that in. We're going to put that in the bottom. And that's going to fill it up quite a bit. But there will still be room. And just taking this a little bit to break it up so that it's actually in a form closer to regular soil and will also help it break down the rest of the roadway. So now looking in there, if you look in there, I want to come on, have a quick look, but it's, it's basically broken down. If you glance at it, it just looks like regular dirt at this point. And then we're just gonna throw a little, break up the dirt that we pulled out of there before. Throw some of that on top so it doesn't essentially hit the roots raw. Go ahead and grab the, the tree there. And put it in. Want to make sure this goes below below the soil. Here, you hold it, Noah. Break up a little more of this. Pile it around. Fine getting some of the grass in there. It's going to grow back right, grow right back up around it eventually, anyways. And certainly grass is not going to hurt it. down in here, make sure this is all worked in well. Now what we also want to do is when you're replanting plants, most of the time, most plants, when you replant them, you actually want to make it, it went a little bit deep there, want to actually make it at the same level as they were originally. In some plants, you actually do want to plant them just a little bit deeper, but most of them, as a general rule, the same level. Certainly no more exposed. You don't want this planted anywhere above the soil level as far as what was already there. You want to make sure that you definitely get it that deep, if anything, a little bit deeper, but preferably exactly the same. We're on our last step here. Now that we've got the tree planted, it's essentially in place. We're giving it a last boost of vitamins, and this is a contribution from our rabbits, which rabbit manure is one of the ones, that, one of the few that's actually recommended uh, to that you can put directly on plants. You don't need to compost it down. Uh, I've even heard some people say you can put it right on house plants inside the house and it's not an issue. You can see right there too. Here, let me show them real quick. If you look right here, this is some really good healthy soil. We're even putting a few worms in there to get it started. We just put that in and go ahead, go ahead. We'll pack it around there. 
You just kind of break it up. And now, of course, adding this, which uh, it does, and it, it, this doesn't really have to be packed in because this is essentially a fertilizer going on top. We're just throwing it on. Once it all breaks down, it is going to lower the level. So even though it is above the original soil level, a lot of it's going to go down. And that'll give it a nice boost to get started. And now one other very important detail whenever you're plant, doing any new planting, any transplanting, whether it be seeds, seedlings, or a full-grown plant, whenever you put something in the soil for the first time, you want to always make sure to water it really well. That is one thing we're not doing this time, only because in the next hour, it, we're expecting extremely heavy rains for most of the next 24 hours. So it would be kind of pointless to water it right now. Otherwise, you do want to make sure you water it very well. That, that triggers the roots to get going, get started and expanding out, as well as works out any air pockets in the soil that may be still in there before the soil kind of cakes into place. So make sure to finish up with watering. I think I might be feeling some rain. That's right. It actually is starting even right now, so we're going to have to go ahead and wrap this up. But uh, thank you all for watching. Be sure to like the video if you found it useful. Put some comments out, anything that you think might be some good hints when you're planting. I know with trees we talked about like getting it at soil level. Other plants, a lot of them you at soil level or slightly above soil level when you're planting them. But uh, tell us what your experiences are. We're looking forward to watching this grow over the years. And be sure to subscribe to the channel to keep watching and seeing other new things that are going on around the farm and the rest of life. Thank you.